It's a nice soft drizzle outside. Perfect weather for meditating. As soon as your mind wanders off away, you run into the drizzle. So you come back. And you realize that even though the conditions outside may not be what you want, they're good enough. That's the principle of contentment. It's good enough to practice, it's good enough. You've got the time, you've got the opportunity. That's actually a form of wealth. There's so many people in the world that don't have the time, don't have the opportunity. But here you've got that. So make the most of it. Because there is one area where the Buddha says not to be content, and that's with the state of your mind. If there's a lot of unskillful stuff coming up in the mind, you don't content yourself with that. Don't say that it's okay. Don't just sit here accepting it. You try to figure out where it is, where it's coming from, what you can do to put an end to it. In other words, you focus your discontent inside. Not to say that you're a bad person, but simply realizing that the causes for suffering lie inside. And if they're going to be cured, they've got to be cured inside. They're not going to be cured by going out into the drizzle. So you stay right here and watch right here. See what you can do to get the mind in better shape right now. And then whether it's drizzling or sunny or hot, cold, whatever, that won't matter. Because the mind will be trained. And when the mind is trained, it can live in any situation. The untrained mind is like a hothouse plant. It needs just this condition, just that condition in order to be happy. And when things aren't that way, it's not going to do well. That's a real form of weakness. Some people see it as a form of strength, demanding things to be this way and that way, but that's an actual form of weakness. The strength lies in learning to f make the best use of whatever opportunities you've got. And we have them right now, so make the most of them. We don't know how much longer we'll be here, but we do know that we have right now. And there's work to be done right now. So get set to doing it, and that's making the best use of right now. Because right now it keeps going away and going away. But you can gather well-being from right now in the long term if you approach it in the right way. Content with things outside and not content with any, dis any unskillful thoughts inside. Learn how to make that distinction and use this opportunity to, for, to get the best results you can.